for me, that's all I dreamed about as a kid. You know, just having that, that modified car, that just something that was that individual. And I, I don't know, I don't know why, I know some people call you crazy, but for me, it was kind of having that one thing that you could drive anywhere in the world, say it's yours and not ever see another one like it. And that's what it was for me. You know, you could buy a quarter of a million pound Ferrari, drive through London and see another one exactly the same. Yeah. I could drive it through London, New York, anywhere around the world and I will never see another one anywhere like it. So that's, that's what it meant for me. Obviously, I know everyone's different. But... It hasn't got any door handles. No. Nope. It's absolute madness. I'll take my silly hat off. I'll keep my cool shades on because I'm the Don. And now we can see your grey hair. Uh, gay hair or grey hair? Both. Bit of both. Thanks, Millsy. Lovely. Here we are, Max's fans, in the gorgeous 206, belonging to Ryan. What's your Instagram handle, Roy? So we Ryan, can follow Ryan 206 underscore. Nice, nice. Simple. I'm yeah. Max Pad then, by the way, but we're all about him today. Oh, man. <laughs> Makes a change. It does. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it doesn't. So we're asking all the guys today um, just top five favourite things about the car, basically, and that can include a little bit of history about the car. You know how you came to acquire it, for example. F I you didn't find it in a ditch, did you? No. No. Oh, good. I good. found it in the back of a body shop. Okay. In Scotland. Okay. Well, on Facebook, contacted a guy. He had it in a body shop in Scotland, rust in a way. Oh. So, yeah, one Sunday I took the five and a half hour drive up there, viewed the car for an hour and a half, and then the five and a half hour drive back. Yeah. Did you leave your money right there, did you? I can't, I think I did. Yeah, I you're like, I'm having that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah, looked at it. None of this was in, no seats, just a dashboard and a steering wheel. Yeah. That's your lot, get it up. Yeah. And that was it, yeah. So this car kind of transported you back to when you were younger? 17, yeah. Yeah. A little while ago now. So you had a 106 back in the day? 206. 206. 206, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 206, first car, 1.1. Yeah. Wanted the Ecos dream. Yeah. Wanted wanted the, the magazines and, you know, buying them every month, yeah. looking at everything in there. Int is the orange one, the green one. Yeah. His brother's the yellow one. Um, a couple of friends built a couple around near me. and But then you kind of, you know, clicked on the website, seen this on the homepage. Yeah. Had a look at the kit price and you went, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, I probably won't do that, yeah. to be honest. Not for a few years. Yeah, so yeah. some money in the bank. Yeah, yeah. So, so now you've got a few quid, you're like, right, I'm having that. Well, yeah. Yeah. And so what is it, the colour? Well, I mean, this car photographs beautifully. So just the proportions, like you shoot the dead side of it when it's on the deck on those chrome rims. I mean, it just looks beautiful. Is that the attraction for you? Is it the kit that drives it for you? Yeah. yeah. I think it, for me, it's, it's, it's having, it, when you look at other cars, you go, what what are the what has colour has everybody got? And what colour has nobody got? And even I think green's quite popular now. Mm -hmm. And for me this the, I don't, I'm don't, you don't see the yellows. I know it's a Renault colour, but you don't see any Renault V6s on the road because no, they're all in not. garages and yeah. so for me, yeah, it's definitely definitely a, a colour thing, sort of standing out. Yeah, it absolutely it looks amazing in the sun. Yeah. But also the interior, D class interior, I mean this yeah. has lasted really, really well, hasn't it? Yeah, I'm impressed. Did you have to clean it up, like kind of restore it or? No. no. Do you know what I've not I've not done anything. It's literally the guy the guy that I bought it off took it out of various storage places that he had it, different cars, back of a lorry, I don't know from where it appeared from. But yeah, then I got it, he just piled it in here. Yeah. I I ended up after I bought the car, he told me it needed a service. I serviced it. Turns out it didn't need a service. It was knackered. Okay. They needed so, a major service. Oh, yeah. unbelievable. Bit more than a service, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Okay. Um, so yeah, I kind of sent it off because it was uh, there was a lot of electrical problems. The throttle bodies needed rebalancing. So I was kind of like, look, this is a, above my pay grade. Yeah, yeah. So I kind of sent it off to a guy in Norfolk, great guy, Adam Schaefer, and he he rebuilt the whole car for me. Yeah. Um, and and now you see it now is 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 how I got it back from yeah. him. So. The wheels for me are a big part of this car. It just awesome. looks stunning together. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, you love them. I guess you wouldn't change them. I have thought about it because it's for me. I think back then it was about big wheels, body kits. Yeah. Whereas now it's sort of filling the arches, and I feel like it's a shame to have such a wide kit. And I've noticed it sort of the wheels don't fill that arch. Mm, so okay. I've I've looked at different wheels what would you buy how would you build it what would you do and you know like 
like we've just done, you know, you take a few photos, you see it in that light, and you kind of think, <laughs> yeah. it's all good. You can't change it. Yeah, and these wheels, you just don't see this design no. anywhere, do you? So no, you again, I, well, these were these were actually imported from America. Okay. Um, TSW Holstons, because they they bought them in a Ford four by one hundred eight fitment, because right. it was the only place in the world that would sell a four by one hundred eight fitment. Um, yeah, then just run the spigot rings to make it fit. So nice. Yeah. And I'm sort of asking you what your top five are, but I'm kind of just reeling off my top five, aren't I? <laughs> Typical. It's all about me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's all about, we've got to talk yeah. about the audio as well, because it's got yeah. a real nice install. Yeah, kicker. Yeah. I'm not too sure on the specs, um, because again, it's been 2007, I think, this got yeah. built. Yeah. I know Tony was saying about, he, he shot it in 2007, so it was about that time. Yeah. But again, obviously the installs, it is old, but it, I think back then, from what I, I did speak to Nick, originally who bought the car and he was sort of running through what he what his choice is on how he got it built and you know at the time I think he did it was top of the range it was, you yeah know, it was, I think so and I think even by today's standard it's still a great great sounding system so yeah, man geez I mean audio has moved on a bit but it's just got a bit smaller that's you know yeah at the end of the day this is top top-notch kicker gear and you can't knock the kicker gear. it's beautifully smoothed in it's all wrapped in leather I mean yeah don't mess around you know if it ain't broke don't fix it you know what I'm yeah, saying yeah, that's it What's, uh, what's the next plan for the car? Honestly, I don't know. I've toyed with selling it, garaging it, keeping it for next year, changing the wheels, changing the audio for something like we said, a bit newer, something mm -hmm. that looks maybe a little bit, mm -hmm. no more modern or, uh, I honestly at the minute, I mean, it's got a few like door poppers need adjusting. The air ride has got a tiny leak from one of the knuckles. So maintenance wise, probably them and then Again, it's for me, and I know from what I've spoken to with a lot of other people, it's such an iconic car, and I can't change too much, too much, if yeah. anything. Yeah. yeah. So you know, it's one of them. I, I, I feel like it needs to stay the same. Obviously, a few bits need tightening up, and I think yeah. that's what I'll, what I'll be doing. I think it's a bit of an icon. It's beautiful to look at. People love seeing it. So I think you know, if you keep for a bit, get it to the shows, and you know, let yeah. the public enjoy it. You know. Yeah. Yeah. And more importantly. For you to enjoy it because yeah that's what it's all about right yeah it's been a number of years that i've wanted one probably a midlife crisis but it's all right. <laughs> we all go through it don't we like we do it? mate i hey. mean mine was about 15 years ago but it's all good <laughs> that's what we're all going through right now yeah yeah uh, and uh thank you very much for bringing the car along and let's have a proper look at it because thank uh, you you know at car shows and stuff you just kind of uh glance past it or you're or you're not around there to yeah yeah i think around. i've missed you twice now i've missed you both twice so yeah it's been <laughs> nice <to> <laughs> he's avoiding us millsy yeah try it people try do people do <laughs> love you bye oh. <laughs> right lovely thank you thank you awesome this better take this better take that number plate off you'll nick that i will is that an original yeah, yeah maybe have you felt it <sighs> Genuine carbon fiber. Ooh. Genuine carbon fiber.